Today's March 17th, 2020, and we're living in a new reality. And in this reality, we've just got to sanitize everything. You gotta sanitize all the handles, behind the doorknobs, dishwasher handles, oven knobs, refrigerator handles, even the dispenser that dispenses water, toaster handles, clean the counters like crazy. If you're a creator, make sure you sanitize your gear. And then you gotta wash your hands properly. You gotta scrub the back of your hands, in between your hands, in between your thumbs, in your fingernails, keep your fingernails clean. For now, this is what I'm doing before and after I use my kitchen. All right, guys, we are in the thick of, I don't even know, crazy, unprecedented things nobody has really ever experienced. Right now, we're all supposed to be at home. Social distancing, which is different than quarantine. We aren't sick. When you're sick, you're quarantined. The rest of us who aren't sick or could be sick are social distancing. It means we're at home working or doing whatever. The thing is restaurants are closing and minimizing service by the minute. This is what we've been training for. Stocking up the pantry, learning how to make broths and stocks, packing up the freezers, sauces, using minimal ingredients to make wholesome, delicious food. And that is what we're gonna continue to do now that you know we could all be dealing with this for the foreseeable future. And um, it's really important for us to all be doing the same thing. Think of it as a patriotic act, but it's not for your country, it's for humanity. We're doing this collective selfless act in order to protect our neighbors. And in that sense, it's maybe something that like I've never, it's like an emotional thing to see that being done by a humanity. And everyone is coming together to understand that we've just got to do one thing and we could probably save a lot of people. Maybe you and I might not be prone to dying, but my mom has Lyme's disease. She's got an autoimmune thing. So, you know, the steps that I'm taking are really to protect my mom. What I'm doing is making sure we're all safe, we're fed and um, you know we're staying smart. Another thing is grocery stores just got slammed. Restaurants are in pain. These grocery stores today are restocking up on groceries and we've got to give it time. We cannot go in there and shock the system, which is what we're doing. We have to be sensible about what we're buying. Right now we all have to be considerate of others and buy what we need and stock up over time. We're not preparing for the Armageddon. We're shopping for like a, a week at a time and that's all we have to do and that's the responsible thing to do. So now on the show, we are going to transition a bit and we're going to talk about real basic stuff. And that's why I've got a, a freezer full of stock. I've got tomato sauces in the freezer. I've got cans of tomato sauce ready to go. I've got enough food for a few weeks if something were to go really bad. But I'm not preparing for Armageddon. I'm, I don't have piles of toilet paper. We just need to be really smart right now and um, understand that all of our actions have consequences. I just needed to vent a little bit. I'm just like you. I'm confused and, um, you know, worried. But to combat that, I've been staying in the kitchen cooking. The show will go on and we will run the show in a way that addresses the reality of the moment. And we can't really ignore that. So today we're going to make an essential breakfast. We got to keep our immune system strong and we got to make good decisions. And oatmeal is a great thing that we could be eating right now. I've got steel cut oats. Not gonna stick my hand in, but as you can see, looks a little bit like broken rice. And um, this is better than quick cooking oats or regular kind of flat rolled oats. That's just a more processed product. This is far less processed and you're gonna get a lot more nutrients. And like, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you all the things that oats are good for. You can do your own research, it's pretty widely known. And right now we're gonna rely on this. We can cook it with water and then we can season it with some cinnamon and then some maple syrup. Now maple syrup is a natural, healthy sugar. 
And at the moment, sugars are not ideal. You should be trying to minimize the amount of sugars that you're eating. But if you do need to have sugars, use the natural healthy kind. I've also got some almonds, which I think I'm going to use as well. So I'm going to uh, toast these up and I'm going to chop them up. I think I'll take a little bit of an apple and cut it into dices. And then that apple and that almond are going to be kind of sprinkled on top. Basically cinnamon maple syrup oatmeal. And then maybe we'll top a little bit of cinnamon on top. And there you have it. It's going to be very simple, very delicious, but the steel cut is going to give texture. And it's going to be more like eating a risotto than it is like eating oatmeal. And for me, I think that's the problem with oatmeal is that rolled oat texture is just unpleasant and soft. And I think that's why many people might not enjoy oatmeal as much. So let's just jump right into it. I'm gonna get into toasting the nuts, chopping them, dicing my apple, and then we're, we're gonna cook the oats. So we have our chopped almonds. Another source of crunch and another texture and some healthiness. I'm gonna dice this once the oatmeal is done so it doesn't brown. One cup is plenty and what I can do is I can always save whatever I have left over, portion it out, and then the next day add maybe a little bit of liquid to it and reheat it. And then I have some already made leftover. You can always meal plan this, but we're gonna make one cup. Now steel cut oats do cook longer. 20 to 30 minutes if you did not soak them. If you want to speed that up, maybe by half, then the night before you can just cover these oats in water. That's gonna hydrate them enough to help quicken that cooking process. So all we're gonna do now is get these rinsed off really quickly. There's a lot of grit on here. So we want to strain this and rinse this real quick. And so to that one cup, we have about three and a half cups of water. You could do three cups, you could do four cups. It doesn't really matter. It's about three or four to one cup is the ratio, but I can always add more water as needed. So if it's absorbing a little too much and it's still a little al dente, I'll just add a little bit more water. And you can use milk and you can use whatever, but we're being conservative now because times have changed and we don't need to use milk necessarily. It will be different, it'll be creamier, it'll be a little sweeter, but water will work just fine. And so that's what we're gonna use today. So I'm gonna add a little bit of nuts into the oatmeal once it gets to be nicely cooked and then a little bit on top and again the apple. We're just gonna bring it all over on over to the stove and I'll take you through it there. Get a pan on medium heat and add a tablespoon of butter and the oatmeal and just toast that oatmeal for a minute or two. Now add the water. Season that immediately with salt and then bring that up to a boil. And drop it down to a simmer. Now you wanna cook this for about 20, 25 minutes, stirring occasionally so nothing sticks to the bottom until the mixture becomes nice and creamy and the oatmeal is cooked through. You'll see it start to thicken over time. Once it's at a nice consistency and it's cooked through, you can add about half of the almonds, a little bit of cinnamon, and a couple tablespoons of maple syrup. Mix that all together, then turn off the heat, add another knob of butter, give it a final taste, and adjust for seasoning. Gotta cut this apple really quickly into dices, so what we do, is we just take part of the knife and we just start to cut thin slices, just slowly towards the core of the apple. And then you cut it into slices. And then you turn it and cut it into little dices. Thank you. 
Now I promise you, I never liked oatmeal my whole life until I started eating steel cut. It really gives you risotto feel. And then you add the crunchiness of the nuts and then the sweet chewiness of the apple. And you go from something that was texturally boring normally to something that has life to it. It has sweetness, it has crunch, it has chewiness. It's really good. Oh, what are we doing here? A little of it is gonna fill you up. So much good stuff going on in here. I took around 20 minutes to cook. I promise you, you gotta try the steel cut oats. We put a little grass-fed butter in here. That's all good. Fat-soluble nutrient is something that needs a fat to enter your body and to be absorbed. So a lot of these things do need some sort of fat. And it's good to use a grass-fed butter or an olive oil. We got the good healthy maple syrup. I promise, you will like this. Now for the last hour, I forgot everything that was happening in the world. I zoned into cooking. I became obsessed with making a beautiful, perfect, delicious plate of oatmeal. And I've been doing that throughout the week and I've been trying to showcase it on my Instagram. If you're not following, go follow. You'll keep up to date with all my cooking throughout all of this. But this is the escape. A lot of the escape is gone. Movies are postponed. Sports are canceled. Restaurants are closing. Guys, if you're not cooking now, then you just don't get it. It's now more important than ever. And I know a lot of you are stepping into the kitchen for the first time. You have no idea what to do, but you know you need to start cooking. No need to worry. I'll be here with you on the front lines, weathering this storm. Guys, times are about to get weird and uncomfortable. Don't panic, don't freak out, don't go to the store and run the place and clean. You gotta think about your neighbors. A lot of people are gonna be hurting right now. Some people don't even have access to food. Restaurants are closing down, like not temporarily, like they're not gonna reel. They cannot survive two weeks of being closed. I know creators who are losing brand deals and don't know if they're gonna be able to pay their rent. This is going to be something pretty serious. So. What I want you guys to do is start thinking about each other, thinking about everyone together. Maybe go throw $5 to that creator that you want to support or buy a gift card from a restaurant. Send them a message that you're thinking about them and that as soon as they reopen, you'll be at the restaurant. Just think about your neighbors, take care of somebody. If somebody needs grocery shopping done, figure out a way to get it done. But we need to take care of each other right now. This is what it is all about. All the other stuff that we kind of worry about, it really means nothing. We're down to basics here, and it's all about feeding each other, taking care of each other, staying healthy, and protecting each other. So like I said, I'm gonna be here in the front lines with you guys. We're gonna be working through what to make, fresh pastas that now that the stores are sort of cleared out of things. We're gonna get through it, we're gonna get through it together, and we're gonna eat pretty well, hopefully, throughout the process. So that's all that I have today. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself and go feed yourself.